Hi everyone, welcome back. So for today's video, I have a first impressions review and makeup tutorial on the new Norvina palette from Anastasia. Let's just start with the most exciting thing. I'm gonna actually be giving away two of these palettes for you guys. I knew that I had to get one for myself and get one for you guys as well, so I'll pick two people in the comments, and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below one comment per person, and please leave me a way that I can contact you in case you're the winner. Instagram, Twitter, email, whatever, just leave it down below in the comments. I will also insert a little time slot right here if you guys are interested in just the makeup tutorial because I am going to start off by doing some swatches and a little review and like my thoughts on the palette since I just used it. Duh. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's jump into it. So the colors are beautiful. Honestly, if you love purples and pinks, I think this is like a dream. I'm obsessed with it. I like how it's not a traditional neutral palette, but it's really fun at the same time, but it's very wearable. I'm not super big on color. You guys know that. I love my neutrals, but I think this is a really fun way to add some color to your look without being too much and too dramatic. The only color that I felt was a little bit inconsistent with the other ones was the shade Wild Child, and actually it's one of my favorite colors in the palette. I love the way that it looks. I have it on my lids right now and I'll show you guys throughout the video that it was just very powdery for me. I feel like I'm going to hit pin on it really soon and it sucks because it's such a gorgeous color and I'm obviously still going to use it, but it's one of those colors where the minute you dip your brush in, it's like the eyeshadow was just flying everywhere. But after swatching the other shades and playing with the other ones, obviously I didn't play with all the colors on my eyes, but I did do finger swatches and brush swatches just to kind of see if I had the same kickback as I did with the shade Wild Child and I didn't. So it's pretty much just that color. The other shades are a little powdery but it's nothing crazy. I feel like, I mean, what eyeshadows aren't powdery? There's a lot of them that are, and it's just because this formula is so creamy and buttery and pigmented, but honestly, I love it, and the mattes in here are all stunning, and some of the pastels look a little bit lighter in the pan, but when you actually apply them, like especially the shade Soul, they're a little bit darker than what they look like, and I'm living for it. All in all, I do really like this palette. I don't have any major complaints minus that Wild Child shade, so if you can look past that, I do still think it's a great palette to have in your collection, and there was some fallout as there is with most of the eyeshadow palettes that I use but that's not really a huge issue with me because I always do my eye makeup before my face makeup. I know some people will say otherwise because you feel like you're going through the eyeshadows very quickly but again I usually have fallout with the majority of my eyeshadow palettes so it's not like a huge deal for me because the quality of this is just really great. So yeah for me I approve this palette. I really like it. I can't wait to do more looks with it so I'm thinking about doing like a two looks one palette or a three looks one palette with this palette. I just said palette like five times. So be on the lookout for another video featuring this, but let me know what you guys think. So far, I'm really loving it. Like I said, if anything changes, I will keep you updated. Now we can jump into the makeup tutorial. I really love the way this look turned out. So let's do it and let's get started. I'm gonna start off by just priming my lids and I'm gonna use my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Medium One Custard. This is like the only concealer that I've been using for like months now. I love it so much. It's just perfect for concealing your eyelids. You can use this underneath your eyes to clean up your brows. It's just amazing. So excited. I'm gonna jump into the Norvina palettes. These brushes that come in the Anastasia palettes, I love. I have like all of them for the most part. These are amazing and I use them constantly. So I'm really glad that they always put a brush in. I'm gonna take the shade Base and I'm gonna be applying that all over my lid just to set my concealer. I don't have super oily eyelids, but I always like to set because I feel like it just makes everything else go on super smooth. I'm gonna take the shade Incense, which is like a nice soft brown and I'm going to be applying that right into the crease as my neutral blending color. It's a little bit more cool tone than what I normally use but it's not too cool tone which I appreciate. I'm going to take this color and I'm going to build it up. I'm taking a different brush and I'm going to take the shade Eccentric, which is more of like a sort of like warmer orange soft brown color. And I'm going to apply that pretty much where I just applied that other shade. Kind of mixing the two. This is like more my kind of color, honestly. I love warm shades. I'm applying this sort of also all over the lid and bringing it up into the crease slightly. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Celestial, which is like a really gorgeous purple, and I'm going to be applying that sort of like on the center portion of my lid. I'm not going to spray my brush, but I probably will after. I want to see how it's going to apply on its own. Oh, that is really pretty. It's actually really pigmented just like on its own without any... 
spray. I really, really like that color. It's such a nice purple. There is some fallout, as you can see, but... I, that's why I always like to do my eye makeup first because I always get fallout with my eyeshadows. I love this purple so much, like already, I'm obsessed with it. Then with a smaller brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Wild Child, which is more of like a pink, and it kind of looks like it has some gold undertones to it. This color is a little bit powdery, actually, just dipping my brush in. But I'm going to take that and apply that sort of like in the inner part of the lid. Just to show you. I'm like barely dipping in here, but it's very, very powdery. <sighs> but it's really pretty though. I will give it that. It's gorgeous. A lot more powdery than that purple shade that I was using. I love this combo though. That is so pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Drama on a different crease brush and I'm gonna apply that right on the outer part of the crease just to define that a little bit more. Then with a different clean fluffy brush I'm gonna take the shade Eccentric and I'm gonna run that again in the crease. Okay, so I just applied some tape because I really want that edge right here to be super sharp. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Passion, which is sort of like a red brick brown color. It's so, so gorgeous. And I'm going to be applying that as my winged liner. I love doing this because it gives you that winged liner effect, but it's a little softer. It's smokier. Oh, there is some fallout with this shade. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and I'll do my lower lash line and I will leave other products and everything if you guys are interested down below in the description box. So I'll see you in one second. Alright, so I finished up the rest of my makeup minus setting spray and lower lashes. So I'm going to start off, of course, by jumping back into the Norvina palette. I think I'm going to jump into the shade Soul. It's like a really light pastel bluish purple color and it doesn't look like it has any shimmer in it maybe like a slight little sheen but nothing crazy so i'm gonna apply that right on my lower lash line oh it's really pretty it comes off more purple on the lower lash line versus in the pan where it looks a little bit more light like a bluish color Then I'm going to take the shade Volatile, which is more of like a taupey sort of brown, and I'm going to take a different brush to kind of smudge that out. For the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm going to take the shade Dreamer. I'm going to just dip in the shadow and then spray my brush. Alright guys, so that completes this video. Please let me know what you think down below. If you're going to be purchasing the palette, are you going to pass? Which palette is your favorite from Anastasia? You guys know Modern Renaissance is my absolute favorite, but I really, really love this one. I think it is beautiful, and I love the pastels in here. So excited to continue to play with this, and besides that Wild Child shade, everything else I love, and I still love the color. I just feel like if you can look past the fact that there is a lot of powdery kickback from this color, it is a beautiful palette nonetheless. Good luck to all of you guys in the giveaway. Please check the description description box once again just so you don't miss any details and until next time I'll see you guys in a few days in my next one bye
like a guy who could treat me right. Oh, 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 o